Coach, uh, we're back another week, another win. Uh, this time a comeback victory over Portland State. If you would just look back a little bit to that win, uh, took some grinding, and you went into the half down for the first time all season, but you pulled it out. Yes, our game against Portland State um, last weekend was was a tough one for us. Um, you know, we had a, a tough game prior to that against the Pilots, and then was a little bit concerned about how our players would come out. Um, against Portland State um, on, on the road again. So first half was definitely slow. Um, we were definitely not in sync. Um, we didn't have the right mentality, but you know, I think uh, credit to the girls after we made some halftime adjustments and talked about what we needed to do. Um, the players that you know, were on the field showed a lot of character and, and uh, executed our plays the way we wanted to, and uh, we got the result. Uh, you had a two goals within two minutes stretch uh, in the second half, something like that. W what kind of confidence does that give, you know, your team knowing that whether they're down, whether they're up, whether they're tied, no matter the situation, they can come back and they can win. Yes, I agree. I think it gives our team a, a lot of confidence to know that we can put the ball in the back of the net um, if we apply ourselves. And, you know, to score two goals back to back that quickly is obviously gives you a big boost on the day. Um, to take the momentum of the game. And sometimes soccer's like that. You know, they say that um, when you give up a goal, it's, it's, it's the next five minutes are the most crucial. So to have that focus and, and to, to stay on task. Um, but without a doubt, it gives our girls confidence that we can score goals and that we can also um, share. I mean, there's been a few different players that have been putting the ball in the back of the net, which is, which is good. You go from the excitement of that win to having nearly a week uh, off to train and prepare for your next opponent. First opponent outside the state of Oregon this year. Um, you go to California and you play Cal State Fullerton. A um, little bit about them and what you're going to face when you head down south. Cal State Fullerton's going to be a, a tough opponent for us. We've been looking at their scouting reports, um, you know, talk to their uh, opponents that they've played already. And, you know, it's, it'll be a difficult match um, traveling down there and playing them on their home field. Um, you know, they're going to be a team that's very organized defensively. Uh, you know, I think they have some, some solid attacking weapons. So, you know, we're going to have to take care of that. And then at the same time, we're, we have to go down and play our game when it comes to the offensive side of things and generate our chances and, and put them away. Um, you know, I think that particularly now, uh, you know, when we talk to our team, they understand that there are no easy games um, for Oregon State, uh, and that's just how it is. And, uh, you know, you play at Cal State. You, you, that'll be your third road match uh, in a row. How's it going to be coming home after that Sunday to finally play at home after a couple of weeks of not, uh, not seeing Paul Lorenz Field? Well, I know the players will be delighted. Uh, you know, so will we. It's obviously it's a, it's a fantastic field, playing surface. And, you know, our players, they absolutely love it. And, and being home, there's, there's nothing like that to, to be in front of your home fans and your home crowd. And obviously now with the new playing surface, it'll, it'll be a, a welcomed game to play finally at home after three weeks. And you guys now finally starting to get uh, some recognition. You received some votes for the top 25 last week, uh, this week now in there um, in a number of polls. What kind of confidence boost, if any, does that give the team knowing that, uh, you know, they're recognized out there for their performance on the field? Yes, I think, you know, now having broken into the, the top 25 ranking for, for various polls gives our players confidence, and uh, it should, you know, because we've been playing well. And, uh, you know, I think that we deserve to be in that group of teams. Um, you know, now obviously the challenge is to keep doing what we're doing and to stay there. Um, but without a doubt, you know, I fully believe they deserve, we deserve it and that we have to continue to um, do the things that we're doing um, correctly to, to stay there. And lastly, one of the Beavers that has not been on the pitch this season uh, in Corvallis, Jenna Richardson, she's been busy in Japan playing in the uh, FIFA U-20 uh, Women's World Cup, her competition now done with uh, Team Canada. First of all, how proud are you as a coach uh, to, to see how she's performed over there, scoring a goal uh, for, her, for her home country? I'm very happy and, and proud of Jenna as to what she's accomplished with, with her national team, with the under-20 team. 
uh, to go to the World Cup and to be able to say you've played in the World Cup and not only played but scored a goal in the World Cup is, is, is a great, great um, feather in her cap, you know, to, to have done that. And I have no doubt that her national team career is not over. Um, you know, unfortunately, the team's been eliminated. Um, so now for, for her, she's traveling back home and she'll be joining her teammates here in the next few days. So, you know, we're looking forward to her return. Um, I know her teammates are going to welcome her with, with open arms and she will just, you know, get into the fold of how we're doing things here. What kind of boost do you suspect that that would give uh, the team and, and Jenna, you know, vice versa? Well, I think Jenna's a, a, a great personality on our team. Uh, you know, our teammates really like her. They enjoy her personality. And obviously, she's, she's a scoring threat. So that just adds another, you know, if you want to call it an opportunity or a different tactic that we can use up top to um, cause, you know, our opponents some, some problems um, because she's obviously proven, proven herself as a goal scorer. Um, and, you know, she'll have to get here and get into the groove with our tactics because it's no doubt different than what they were doing with, her, with the under-20 team. And, um, you know, find a way to mesh with her players, her teammates on the field, so we can continue to score goals.